What's up, YouTube? It's been a minute since I did a haul. So I decided to order a couple things from Shein because I needed something black to wear to a party, um, a 40th birthday party. And the color um, theme is black stuff. So I put in an order for um, a couple black things. Um, I think I'm going to show y'all some um, mostly Shein stuff. Um, for the stuff that I ordered for the party, the black stuff, and a couple other things that I ordered. And then I'm also going to come to y'all with a couple pairs of shoes that I recently got from Nordstrom. Um, I, I ordered two pairs of shoes from Nordstrom um, as options to wear to this black party. Um, and we just going to make it do what it do and see how it's looking. All right, so I'll be right back with the first item. So what's up, y'all? So it's your girl, Nick, and uh, coming to show you these heels. This heel style is real popping right now. I see it on a lot of the um, sites like Fashion Nova, Shein, Pretty Little Things, and stuff like that. Order these in my normal size seven and a half. They, I've tried them on. They, um... They're cut big. It was space in the back. And also, the heel was definitely too steep for me. So, they are definitely going back to Shein. The heel was like this little shiny plastic. And this is like that faux suede material here. And all around here. Really cute, but I just can't do it. Alright, y'all. Check these out. Okay, y'all, so first up, we have this cute little one-piece romper. It has the uh, illusion of being a wrap top at the top. It's one piece. It has a zip on the side. has this little tie belt that goes around the waist. It has the, I guess you would consider this cold shoulder sleeves or whatever with this opening. Um, what I will say is... I like the way this romper is fitting in here. You guys all know that when I try these things on, when I do these unboxings in these hauls, I'm not wearing shapewear because I'm just trying it on right out of the box. I'm not trying it on with, you know, shapewear to see how it's going to look and how I can be held up inside the garment. But um, I ordered this to be on the safe side because I, I could tell from the photos. I didn't even read no reviews on this. I could tell from the photos that this material was not going to be one that gives. So I sized up and ordered the 4X to um, be sure. And this is how it fits me. I want to say I like the way it fits here. It's like my stomach is not as protruding as much. But I hate the way it looks on my arms. It's like this not sitting the way it's supposed to sit. Because my arms are, are so big. And... It just, it's not flattering on my arms at all. It looks dumb the way that this is on me. And I had a time getting in this too because I had this tucked in the wrong way on the wrong side on one side and it was proving a hassle to get on. But yeah, like I wish it worked because this would be perfect for, you know, a summer party and you got to wear black because this material is is super you can see how thin it is you know it's super lightweight I really like this material I wonder if this is how it looked on the model I can't wait to put the side by side of my video with the picture behind it but yeah this is how this looks Alright, now to the next item. 
<laughs> okay, guys. Next up, we have this LBD, a little black dress. Let me get it on my shoulder right. So it's, it has a gather here. This is my bra strap. So as you can see, it's asymmetrical. It's a one shoulder dress. I ordered this dress in a size three. X thinking it will work and as you can see it's too tight on me. I would have needed a 4X in this particular dress. Um honestly let me stand back so you guys can see the little split in it. It's giving very much Senorita I'm gonna do a samba dance type of vibes. I did like this little gathering part right here. It's a hole in this because I'm touching my skin right here. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if this is worth sizing up for me because I'm going to show you guys. This material is kind of, it has a little stretch in it, but it's also thicker and it might be too hot to be wearing. So it might not be worth me ordering and the next size up if it was available. I love this little slip thigh slit and these ruffles. It's it's sexy. You know, it's a sexy little number, but it just it didn't work for me. You know? So I'm gonna try on the next thing and I'll see you when I'm back. Guys, I'm back real quick just to mention that the dress does zip up on the side here. So you would have a zipper. But yeah, it's a nice little sexy something. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back for real this time. Okay, y'all. So these are the sandals, black sandals I ordered from um, Nordstrom's to possibly wear to this black party. First up, we have this, like, sling back sandal with the braided straps over the toe. But as you can see, Calvin Klein. I ordered these in a, um, seven and a half. I was able to order them from Nordstrom's and have Nordstrom to price match them to Neezy's. Because I think full price, these were like a hundred Maybe a hundred, between a hundred and a hundred fifty. But on Nordstrom's, I mean, on Macy's, they was on sale for like sixty nine or sixty five or something to that effect. And again, I ordered them in a seven and a half. Not a lot of padding at the foot. The braided strap is kind of soft. It's a softer leather. Um, they feel good. Do you guys feel like they fit good? I can walk in them comfortably too. Okay, and then next up we have this shoe by BCBG. BCB Generation. I ordered these again for that party. I thought that these could go with uh, the purse I have that matches the Shein's um, slides with the chains on it. I thought this could go if I couldn't walk comfortably in my mules that I have that um, have this chain on it. Um, This heel height is very perfect for me. Again, I ordered them from Nordstrom's, but I got Nordstrom's a price match to Macy's. Because, again, this shoe was also on sale on Macy's.com website. And um, on Nordstrom, it was still full price. 
I ordered these. I was so pressed to try them out. I ordered them in a size, a half, a half size too small for myself just to try them out because um, Nordstrom is only going to price match to um, something that's on certain websites and the size you need has to be available on the other website that you're price matching to. So I tried it in a seven and a half. And to be honest, the length, lengthwise is good. This is just a little bit snug across the top of my toes um, for this shoe. And let's get into the try-on portion. Okay, y'all, this is the BCBG shoe. As I told y'all, the strap is a little tight across the toes, but it feels good on my ankle. Excuse the ash that you see, the slides I wore today um, made my feet ashy even though I put lotion on. But, yeah, this is the 7. And this shoe must be popular because I see a lot of sizes sold out on different websites. Guys, let me know what you think about them. I'm not sure if this front strap will give way if I, you know, use my shoe stretcher on it. I can't try to stretch it too much because I don't want to mess up the chain detail on the shoe. But I would guess once I finally figure out an outfit to wear to this party, then I will decide which shoe is going to look best and make my decision on what I'm taking back because I don't need all these black shoes even though I do love both styles of shoes that I have but it's, I love these and those Calvin Collins like these are the perfect height for brunching and stuff like that and when you gotta throw something on a little LBD and go somewhere with them for something printed with black in it, these are like perfect. I really like these. Maybe, maybe both pairs of shoes are necessary. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section. I see y'all in the next. Okay guys, up next from Shein, we have this two-piece skirt set that was advertised on my Facebook. Um, you know how on Facebook they have sponsored stuff and I kept seeing this on it. So I was like, hmm, let me try it out and see how it would fit me. So I sized up, rightfully so, to the 3X um, and this is how it fits on me. It's always a puckering situation with their tops right in this area. Um, this top is supposed to be cropped. The material is that little silky polyester type material as most of she and stuff seems to come in. The orange, it's not reading this bright because the way my phone is situated, the lighting is, um, it's a soft light. So it's not looking as bright as it really is um, in person. Um, I, I'm very self-conscious about stuff tucking and my stomach being out there like that. So, um, more than likely, I'm going to be sending this one back. But I really like, I like that little, with the skirt, you know? Like, see, if the skirt was made with this, it would be like this. Whereas what it wasn't so plain right here, and then this started like this here, I'd be fine. But with all this, yeah, I'm not feeling that on me. So this is going to be going back. It's going to be a no. Okay, y'all, so next up we have 
these slides. Um, I got them in case I carried and wore these uh, heels to this um, black party that I'm going to. I have some Steve Madden square toe mules with this same chain design on the front. And then um, along with them, I have the purse to match. So I was ordering these in case I wore these to this party that I'm going to. Now, granted, I think when I ordered these, they didn't have my actual size, which is a seven and a half. And I'm starting to notice that a lot of times in she and shoes, I'm a seven and not the actual seven and a half or an eight. A lot of times it just depends on how it's cut. So because there was no seven and a half available, I ordered a seven and an eight. This is the eight, look, it's super long. And this is the seven. And we're gonna try it on to see which one fits best. Okay, y'all, I have the size eight on my left foot and the size seven on the right foot. I think the sevens are my correct size. I think I'll keep these. The, um, the top of the shoe is super comfortable because it's made of a stretchy fabric, which means that after some wears, it's probably going to you know, stretch out and your foot might slide to the front a little. So if you plan on ordering these, keep that in mind that this top piece here, this is made from kind of like a, a stretchy kind of like a, a little, it's a little stretchy type of canvas material. So keep that in mind. But I like them, the footbed, it's actually padded a little bit too, which is great. Cute little slides they had. They were only about probably like 20 bucks or something like that. And it saves you a lot of money because I know I like Tory Burch sandals too. And um, those are like $220. Well, the ones I've been looking at lately are like $220. I'm really liking the way my skirt looks from this angle. It's just, ooh, this. Okay, guys, next up we have this cute little, um, I would say like almost like a chino fabric mixed with a little of the swishy, swishy fabric that, um, some swim trucks are made out of, or like a sweatsuit would be made out of. I say it's a full right, uh, skirt because it's an actual skirt. And then this part comes like this, and you just... And tie it for the wrap skirt look. I really like this. I'm definitely keeping it. I'm not. Look, let me twist it around and see what size I ordered it in. Oops. It's a 2X. This shirt is old. Fashion Nova, I believe. So if this shirt didn't come with this haul, I just had it on to try my stuff on. But I'll be right back with the next item. Oh, and this skirt is also in like a um, like a sage type of green. It's cute. Okay, guys. So these are just a pair of distressed Bermuda shorts. Um, I ordered these in the three X. They have some stretch in them. This is how they fit. I had to order me a new pair of these because the pair I had previously, I had gotten from Charlotte Roots when they still had Charlotte Roots in the malls. Well, in my local mall. And um, I think it was last summer. It was. It was last summer. I went to go put them on one day. And the day I go, um, the zipper broke. Like the button off the zipper just completely ripped out. So I had to get rid of them. Now, for these from Shein, I can't, I noticed that the differences in Shein and Fashion Nova as far as denim is concerned. Fashion Nova, they're pretty consistent in the sizing of their denim. I had to read the, uh, I had to read the description box 
and see how much elastane or spandex or in the um in the denim to tell whether or not I had to get true to size or size down. I can never tell that with um even when I do read it on um she and even when I do read the description box to get more details on the you know for the fabrication of the items because last year I ordered a bunch of shorts before I went on vacation and I ordered true size and none of them fit. Even though it said it had this amount of elastane and stretch in them. It was just it was just wonky. So I decided to to be on the safe side. Let me order a three X in these and I think I ordered some in a two X as well. And I'll see how they fit me. But for right now, these fit good. They look big taking them out the packaging. But against me, they look like they fit good and I'm guessing that as the day goes on, because you see how it's space here. As the day goes on, these will probably stretch out and not look so great. So, I might have to keep the two racks and send these back. And see, they fit good in here and the thighs and stuff where my thighs will be getting on the inner thighs. They fit great here, but then that leaves, like I said, the extra space here. Which, sometimes I do need the extra space because it is stomach, but these are these. Oh, never mind my little... My little slides from um, Steve Madden, they had a, um, a sale on these for Memorial Day. They was 40% off of the uh, original price, which made them like 30 bucks. But I know that they have some of these on Shein um, in all kind of colors. Some kind of make similar to this that are probably less than the 30 bucks. But I just went on and paid for these one day while I was at the mall. But... Okay, let's get to the next item. I think I got like two, three more pairs of shorts to try on. Okay, y'all, so this is the same pair of shorts, but in the smaller size, which is the 2X. And I feel like these are a better fit. It's less room in here. It's still some stretch in there in my legs, so they won't hurt. And then, even though they're a little tighter around here, it's not digging and being, being uncomfortable. And as the day goes on, they won't get real loose around me the more I wear them. Um, I'm in a group for people who love Shein on one of my um, social media pages. And um, I see a lot of people, well, I saw one lady, you know, complaining or just saying, you know, do you notice that um, stuff from Shein you wear it one time and you wash it and it seems to shrink? And I was thinking that, but I didn't really say anything. Because I did notice that some of my stuff that I got um, from Shein two summers ago, uh, like some tops that I had, like t-shirts, graphic shirts, and stuff like that, they all fitting snugger now than they did them two years ago. But I was attributing that fact to the fact that um, I gained weight because... I was, my anxiety drove me to lose maybe like 10, 15 pounds two years ago. So the shirts I ordered were um, um, fitting a little bit, you know, but more room. But lately, things I've been trying on, they've been way tighter on my arms and tighter across here. And I have gone back up uh, 10 pounds. Ten, yeah, about 10 pounds or so. So, and even with that, when I gone back up in the weight, I feel like my weight distributed different when I gained it back. I'm, I've gotten broader across here and more weight in my arms and stuff. So things are fitting me different up there. But I wonder if it's true, like what she said, because I do have like one dress that I bought that it was super big. Well, not super big, but it fit me. I thought it was cute. My sister teased me, said I was giving I'm a little teapot short and stout in the dress. And then recently I tried to try to dress on again. And it's too small. It's like too tight across here, too too tight up here on the back. The bottom part still flows the way it did when I first bought it, but it's definitely too big up here, so I can't use it anymore. I actually put it in a bag to give it away to um, probably like the House of Ruth or something like that, um, you know, to like a women's shelter. But I just wanted to know if you guys noticed that, like how many wears do you get out of the uh, stuff that you order from Shein um, before you had to toss it out? Because it's like, it loses color. 
or it shrinks and you can't fit it anymore or whatever or it tears and you know comes apart or whatever like how many uses do you get out of your stuff before you gotta throw it away let me know okay guys so next up we have this now i did not order these two pieces to go together as an outfit actually i ordered this t-shirt because it says rolling with the homies and you all know that I'm into roller skating. So that's why I wanted this. Years ago they had a a sweatshirt that said rolling with the homies and I think it was like an off white color with brown lettering. And I never got a chance to get that sweatshirt before it was sold out. So I decided to hop on this and get this T. Now I ordered this T shirt in a three X. This is how it fits me when it's not tied up. It's like a really, it's a real nice, soft material. If y'all are familiar with like the model, like a micro model kind of like material, that's super soft. It feels like that, but not as silky as the micro model um, kind of material. Um, This is how it fits in a 3X when I let it hang down. And you already saw how it fits when I, um, tied in the front. At first I was thinking all this in the back because um um how feel how big it feels here. But maybe I might keep it because it did look cute when I tied it. And make it do something cute to wear when I'm roller skating. See how it fit? Now to the shorts. Again they are inconsistent with their sizes in denim shorts and denim jeans. I did read the um, fabric description and it didn't say it had much stretch. So I ordered the 3X. As you can see, it's tight, tight on my stomach. It's, it has no stretch, no give in it. And it's cutting me in here. Like the material is all up in there, in my crevices. And it's cutting me right here, which is not comfortable. I wanted some shorts like this because it gives a little bit of sass and sex appeal without exposing the fat part of my legs right here. But I feel like the shorts look like the, the hem of uh, Wilma and Betty's dresses on the front stand. But yeah, this is how, and then see the shorts are long in the back and then they cut up in the front. I like that style. But I don't like the way that these fit in me. Like I said, they super tight on my stomach. I mean, then, then there's no give. And like, again, I ordered these shorts in a 3X. Yeah, they dig. And I got these are definitely, definitely going back. Keeping this t-shirt, though. Definitely keeping this t-shirt. I just have one more thing to show you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So last up, we have this two-piece teal sleeveless polo crop top and like tennis type pleated skirt look. I, I, once again, I saw this advertised on my Facebook in the little sponsored section when it's few ads come up. And I was like, oh, I'm going to order it and try it out just to see how it looks on me. And on me, I do not like it. The top is not so bad, but the skirt is too short. I mean, too long for my taste. It's long in the front, and of course, it's hiked up in the back because my behind sits up on my back. So, I don't like the look of this, and so it's going back. I ordered this in a 3X. It's also that same silky material as the, um, the silky polyester material. That's the orange one that I, sh that I showed you guys first. Okay. Well, I mean, what do you say? Okay, guys. So, that concludes this Shein haul. Um, get in the comments and tell me which ones, which items you guys like. 
the things that I ordered two of, which one you guys felt like fit the best, um, or things that you did not like, or and things that you might go and look up for yourself on Shein. Um, also, remember to get in the comments and let me know your experience with Shein clothing as far as the things that you kept and what happened once you washed it or put it in the cleaners or anything like that. Like, like how long do the clothes last before you have to get rid of them? Let me know what your thoughts are about that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate anybody who clicks on the video. If you don't even make it to the end of my video, I'm okay with that. Please, just as soon as you click on the video, give me a like. It don't cost you nothing to give me a like. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And again, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.